Hey guys, this is Miriam at High Life Auto. I am out doing a video test drive on a 2018 Ford Mustang. If you've never been on my video test drives before, the way it works is I drive the vehicle on video and I tell you what I see, hear, think, smell, and feel to give you the best indication to be in the driver's seat without actually being in the driver's seat. I'm not a mechanic and this is not meant to be a 182 point inspection, rather this is meant to be a sneak peek into how the vehicle drives and any potential issues I notice as we're going along. So we'll take a look around the vehicle, we'll take a look under the hood, and then we'll go for a drive. And this one, um, Um, I've only driven it like up the road, but Matt's driven it around quite a bit. He drives it home because um, he likes his dumb sports cars. I'm an SUV person, but I'll tell you everything I know about this and we'll take it for a drive and we'll go from there. All right, 2018 Ford Mustang, uh, beautiful car. It is just a four cylinder turbo, um, but this thing gets it. So um, I don't know, I'll show you as, as we're driving. Um, it's, it's a really cool car, so it'll, it'll do everything you want it to do. Um, body is really good on this. You've got a couple little things, um, like this, this little piece is off. I've got it inside. Um, it's just, it's off. So you can, probably the best thing to do is replace it. But, you know, um, that's one of those things. It's just, just a little piece. Um, doesn't bother me, but it's probably a $5 fix if, um, if you wanted it done. So, um, we have brand new tires on here. We just put new tires on. Um, we have... Um, we just put new wheels on. They are the Shelby, um, I think the American Racing Shelby wheels, um, some fancy smancy things, um, but brand new wheels and brand new tires all the way around. Um, I will say that the wheel uh, sensors are not in them. The, when we took it to the shop, they forgot to transfer the sensors from the old wheels to the new ones. Um, so this will be going back in to get those wheel speed sensors in. Um, so it will have them in it just um, just a heads up for right now, they are not in it. Uh, but it's a really sharp looking car. No rust, no dents, no dings, um, no body, anything. It's a um, really good looking car. Alright, get under here. And here is all of that stuff. inside the car so here is what I know um, like I said the tire pressure sensor things are on let me see if I can get those uh, where's my okay button there's my okay button um, and get those off um, so I've got a windshield wiper fluid that I can get that get that filled um, tire pressure light is on like I said we'll get that off um, and check engine light is on so um, what uh, what Matt, I'll pull this up on the computer. Um, 6.30, VIN not programmed or incompatible ECM, PCM is what that is. Um, and it's the same uh, 420 catalyst system efficiency below threshold. Um, so I'll explain this 6.30 code. So um, it's got 24,931 miles on it. Um, we bought it at 24,812 or something like that. Um, and the motor blew on the way home. Um, so we replaced it with another motor. I think the motor has um, 25,000 uh, miles on it or 24,900 and something. Um, very similar miles and I've got it written down on the receipt um, if you want it. Uh, but so the previous owner had put, let me turn you around so you're not just staring out. Um, whoa, that's bad though. Um, so the previous owner had put um, like a turbo on it and they had they had uh, done some tuning to the to the PCM so they had done some things to make the car do other things um, Matt uh, he related it to like on the the Dodges and stuff you can put a taser in it and then you can change you know a regular Dodge Charger into essentially a Hellcat it's got all the options of a Hellcat um, and so he, he said that the previous owner had done something and they had programmed some things under the PCM um, and what happened when they did that is they bricked it um, and what that means is that uh, the Ford dealership here they can't reprogram it back to stock because it's um, it works just fine the way it is but it can't go back to stock because they've wh whatever this bricking thing is um, it doesn't affect anything it does all it is is 
um, for right now it's just not it's not able to be programmed to this motor um, so what pretty much what that means um, is the check engine lights on um, some people don't like check engine lights and that's totally okay um, it's fixable um, we've got a, a company up in Illinois we take out the PCM send it to them and they um, they repair it and send it back um, for a couple hundred bucks um, not a big deal we just kind of wanted to save you a little bit of money if you didn't want to do it because it doesn't really affect anything all it's saying is that it's it's just a bricked thing um, but also we don't know if um, we don't know what they added like what options they added that are not normally on this car and so we kind of like the car the way it is and we didn't want to take away any options that they may have added uh, to change it and so we're kind of at a you know six of one half dozen of another type of thing so um, one you can comment on this video and let me know what you think um, and two you know if this is something you're looking at then um, we can certainly approach getting the PCM redone um, like I said not super hard it's like a seven to ten seven to ten day turnaround um, to get the PCM redone and then they send it to you flash plug-and-play ready to go so that's that um, let me get my seatbelt on. Man, that sun is killer today. It's in the wrong position for this video. Oh, and the uh, the 420 code is, um, that's an exhaust code. Somebody's done some exhaust work on here um, to make it sound louder, obviously, um, because they want a Mustang to sound louder. So, um, so there's the 420 code, the exhaust code. Um, if you want it to be more quiet, then just need some exhaust work, or some mufflers or something. Um, to just make it more quiet. So, back to the regular video. Okay, so our normal stuff. We've got a radio. Let's see. I've not messed with the radio yet because I've not been in it long enough to mess with it. Um, radio works and it's got the, the big screen with everything on it. Um, here's all your climate control on here. The heat is on. Let's see, let's turn my fan up higher. Defrost. I want it on. <laughs> no, okay. I guess I just don't need it. I don't know how to work this. Okay, so it looks like it's coming out of all, all three locations. Um, heat works. We've got that on. We'll turn the max AC on. Turn on low, and we'll see if that works. Ooh, yeah, that's really cold. That blows good and cold. We're gonna turn that off. Um, because it is not warm enough for that yet. Um, so the AC works, the heat works. I'm gonna turn this back up. Let's see, just turn that off for right now. Um, it does connect to your phone. Uh, looks like somebody had some inappropriate names on there. Um, here are different apps you can use. So it's got the, the radio and stuff. You can connect your phone to it. Um, it's got Sirius XM. Um, I believe it does have a backup camera. Let me put it in reverse. It does have a backup camera. And, um, oh, the screen is not doing that, by the way. Um, something with cameras and LED, they just, they flash like that. Um, but it is not doing that. It also has um, this thing. This is an aftermarket uh thing it, it clips to the front of your uh, rear view mirror and you've got a backup camera here and it's also um, I think it also does front, when you're driving I think it also is a see it's recording up here um, so it'll record it's like a dash cam um, so essentially if you get into an accident or something it's gonna record it all and I think it only records you know like 60 seconds at a time and then it'll overwrite it um but if there's an accident it it saves it or something i'm not exactly sure how it all works but it's the coolest thing ever um and so it's a rear view mirror but then it's also a dash cam when you're driving so there's that uh windows basic stuff passenger side or driver's side window works passenger side window works there are no other windows um and you can see the rear seat is missing they had a system back here um we've had a hard time finding a seat uh so we kind of just left it because this car kind of um 
it's kind of useless for passengers. There's not really a lot of room. You can put passengers in here. Um, there's just not a lot of room to do so. So we kind of left it that way. Again, that's all stuff that can be adjusted. Um, we can find one if we look a little bit harder. It's just kind of stuff. This is where we're at at this moment. So now we will go for a drive. signal works. Let's see. Let's get my windshield wipers on. My windshield wipers work. Oh, I gotta put some windshield wiper fluid in, but I can hear the the fluid motor working, and so the, the fluid works as well. I just need to put a little bit of fluid in there. Uh, make sure no one's coming. We're gonna check my horn. Horn works. Um, and then, obviously, because we just put a new motor in it, the oil change has just been done, so you still have 3,000 miles on the oil change. Um, I'll try and get a sticker in there when I get back, and we'll check our cruise on... and set, and you see right there in the middle, I've got the cruise set at 50 miles an hour, so the cruise also works. Um, so, overview of the car. Man, the sun is killer. Um, excellent car. It is a really good looking car. It's a new car. It's got low miles. Um, it just, it drives phenomenally. Everything seems to work. You've got like a couple little, like you've got this little, here's the door thing, by the way. Um, you've got this little door thing at the top and then you've got the two codes on there. You've got the 630 code, which is the PCM code. And then you've got the 420 code, which is the exhaust code. Um, other than that, excellent, excellent driving car. Um, you're going to get the gas mileage, you're going to get the speed, um, and it's kind of a fancy car. Not really my cup of tea, but, you know, um, for, for someone who does enjoy these cars, um, this would make an excellent addition to your garage. So, there's that. If you have any questions, hit me up. My cell phone is 309-267-7200, or you can always call and message Matt, too, because he's driven this a whole lot more than I have. Um, his phone number is 309-337-1049. Thanks, guys.